Diodora Hernandez is happiest working with her animals. It's the life she knows and one that she loves. So when the neighboring gold mine tried to buy her farmland to expand its operations, she refused. Then, one evening in 2010, two local men came to her house. One of them shot the 58-year-old grandmother in the face point blank. She spent three months in the hospital as a result. I lost this eye and I can't hear out of this ear. Diodora says she was attacked because of her opposition to the Marlin mine, the largest and most profitable gold mine in Guatemala. Specifically, she says it was her refusal to sell her land, which angered some local mine workers who worried their jobs might be at risk. The two men later detained for the assault had worked for a company contracted by the mine. All of the people in my community are compromised by the mine. They all work there. This and other violent incidents in the community illustrate the sometimes dangerous divisions between mine supporters and opponents. Diodora's daughter Maria says she fears for her family's safety, despite the presence of a full-time policeman provided by the government. Some people threaten you for the smallest thing. You can't speak out, but you're just defending your rights. You aren't saying things that aren't true. But if you speak badly about the mine, people say you're being spiteful and gossiping. The Canadian-owned mine is no stranger to controversy. Just a month before the attack on Diodora, the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights called on the Guatemalan government to suspend the mine because of concerns over human rights and the environment. Goldcore, the mine's parent company, says they take their corporate responsibility in Guatemala seriously, especially in regards to human rights. Although no one from the company was available to meet with Al Jazeera at the time of our visit, they sent this statement. We have expressed and demonstrated that if anyone is interested in a constructive and transparent dialogue, we're all for it. And there has been enough evidence to support that statement. But they also added, we also believe that although we make tremendous efforts in our interactions with stakeholders, we believe we can be better at this, that there is room for improvement. Diodora worries that the mine will soon be all around her, but she refuses to discuss leaving her home. This land, she says, is part of her, for better or for worse. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, in the Department of San Marcos, Guatemala.